Hello, I'm Richard from Tyne Valley Aquatics and in this video I'm going to talk about the importance of plants in your aquarium. There's hundreds and hundreds of sort of plants you can get. They basically do the same thing during the day, i.e. when the light's on in the tank, they take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen on a night. That process is reversed, so when it's dark, they take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Both of those chemicals are important in your tank. Carbon dioxide is important to make the plant grow. Oxygen is important to help the fish breathe. Plants do something else as well. They also take up nutrients from the bottom of your tank, i.e. dissolved food, fish waste, all of that muck, useful to, useful to plants. They provide habitat for your smaller fish to hide in. Uh, your plex will graze the algae on it, as will shrimps, uh, your algae-eating shrimps. Also, if you have plants with large leaves, some of your cichlids, i.e. discus, angels and so on, most of the South American cichlids, have a chance to spawn on the leaves. Plants are also very useful for the fry of a lot of the fish. The likes of your live bearers are always spitting fry out. If you've got a lot of plants, your fry stands a much better chance of survival because they won't get eaten by the larger fish. A lot of plants will grow in gravel and sand. I actually prefer sand, although all these tanks behind me are under gravel filters, so they've all got fine gravel in. Plants have no problem growing in there. When recommending plants, we tend to recommend shorter plants for the foreground, medium sized plants for planting on top of wood, stones, all of this lot. You know, things that won't get more than half the height of the tank. And then in the background, you want your big plants, big tall plants, legs of Amazon swords and so on. We found that one of the best ways to put plants in your tank, which doesn't take up any of the space on the bottom of your tank, which is important if you've got quite a, a, a narrow tank or a small one, is to plant it onto bogwood. This one's actually got suckers on, so it sticks on the side of your tank. And all you do, you take your plant. This one's just an overgrown piece of Java fern. You put it on somewhere where there's a lot of cracks and fissures in the, in the wood. You tie it on with fishing nylon. And in a couple of months time, because these are quite slow growing plants, in a, in a couple of months time, the roots will have got into all the cracks and they'll have stuck the plant to the wood. You'll have a really attractive feature, nice big leaves, and it'll, it'll actually be useful for the fish. You can always put Java moss on as well. This goes absolutely berserk in your tank once it gets a hold. It sticks to all the surfaces, creates a lovely effect on your wood. Very good if you've got shrimps and you want to breed them. We would always recommend natural plants over artificial plants because whilst artificial plants may look quite nice for a short time, they do grow algae on them, more so than natural plants, and they don't take up any nutrients or release oxygen like natural plants do. With regard to the successful growing of plants and the survival, lighting in your tank is very important. The stronger the light, generally the better the plants grow, especially the weaker plants like the reds and the purples, they need a heck of a lot of light. And whilst the light in your tank will continue to shine for years, generally it doesn't shine brightly enough for more than six to nine months to keep your weaker plants growing. If you have a general mix of plants, we would suggest changing your bulb every year. If you have very specialized plants and in a deep tank, we would recommend changing the bulb every six months. With regard to feeding your plants, generally, in a well set up aquarium that's been running for a while, you'll have enough nutrients to support your plants. Because you'll be feeding the fish, they'll be producing waste, your filter will be converting that waste ultimately into nitrates, which will be taken up and used by the plants. If you did want to add extra fertilizer, to your tank, say you didn't have many fish in, you weren't feeding much, and you were worried that the nutrients in the tank wouldn't amount to much, you can get 
little tablets that you push into the substrate, i.e. push them just underneath the roots of your plant into the gravel or the sand and they have a slow release fertiliser which should service your plants for many weeks.